Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 12th of July. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM on toggles. Maybe on throughout a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us towards the end of July. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video saying was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released the fourth autumn update. I'm going to be live streaming at 6pm. Sunday live streams are back uh, from this week onwards. So we'll be live at 6. And uh, we'll have a look at 12Z. And we'll have a look at some long range on that at live stream as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos. Thank you so very much, everybody. For doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday um, as well. Right, let's have a look at CT. The temperature temperature is currently sitting at 7.4 uh, for July. That's 1.4 degrees above average. That's the visual just yesterday, just the first day of uh, July. Um, of course, we confirmed yesterday that the central temperature for June came in at 17.0. That is 2.9 degrees, 3 degrees above average. And for the first day of July, we're still in the 17s. So that's going to come down, though, over the uh, next few days. Reason being that we've got some cooler weather to come. So these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. You see, we're starting off below average over the uh, next few days. The first week of July, see a uh, temperature, upper air temperature below average. We'll find those upper air temperatures lifting up, potentially at the weekend, becoming uh, very warm briefly. It is only quite brief, though. And then we see those upper air temperatures coming back down again once we get into, like, the following uh, week. So, so a brief uh, lift up in the upper air temperatures next weekend. And then down we go again as we go into the following and following week. And generally, then, uh, quite cool through the uh, second week of July and up to the middle of the month. Precipitation-wise, going to be dry weather for the next couple of days. There will be some wet weather, though, around the middle part of the week. Some of that rain could be quite heavy Tuesday to Wednesday. We see quite big precipitation spikes there. will be useful for the gardens in the southeast. And then beyond that, it turns a little bit drier for a few days before maybe through the second week of July up to mid-month, turning a bit more unsettled again, uh, actually. Temperature anomaly is from the 2nd to the 10th of July, coming out uh, a little bit below average through the UK and uh, Ireland. Also, Scandinavia is included, is included in that. Most parts of Europe, though, coming out with slightly above average temperature anomalies. And precipitation anomalies, wetter than average through the northwest, through Ireland, west of Scotland, and also southeast, and drier than average in central regions. The latest wind from that from Earth, Nordschool.net, shows that we're drawing wind in from off the Atlantic uh, today and coming from like a north source in the Atlantic as well. So you see the air actually originating like south of Greenland uh, coming down into the west of Europe. So it has been quite cool out there. I'll shut, <laughs> I'll shut my windows here in the towers today. That wind does have a little bit of a uh, chill to it. Or I think it does anyway, coming as it is from the uh, northern quarter of the Atlantic. Right, let's start going through the chart data then. This is how the latest wind for a map uh, no, this is uh, how the UK at your road is looking for midnight on Wednesday with low pressure in the north of Scotland bringing me showering west to uh, northwesterly winds. As we go through Thursday and Friday, higher pressure begins to build to our south and east. As we go into Saturday, we've got high pressure to our east, low pressure to the west. So we bring up wind from a southerly direction. So temperatures starting to lift up over the uh, weekend. That's the midnight Sunday. Again, low pressure out to west of Ireland, high pressure across the northwest of Europe. Winds coming up from the south. That looks very warm, actually, as we get through to Sunday. We are bringing the plus Sunday next week. We are bringing the plus 15 cells of ice firm up from the south, plus 20 cells of ice firm is into France. So we're not all that far away some, for, uh, from some very high temperatures. But with this low pressure out west, we could start to move that in, turn things fungy. There is another little area of low pressure across northern France as well that could push up and again bring some storms with it. Uh, this is how Icon is looking again for midnight on Wednesday in a rather cool and showery uh, northwesterly wind over the middle part of the week into the weekend. Low pressures out west, high pressure into the east. Uh, winds coming up 
from a southerly direction. So potentially turning uh, quite warm over the uh, weekend. But again, with this area of low pressure out west, that could push in and be the trigger for some heavy showers, maybe maybe some thunderstorms. Uh, upper air temperatures again show over plus 15 Celsius iceberg there into the south and east, plus 20 Celsius iceberg is getting into northern parts of France there. Uh, by next weekend, but it all looks a little bit volatile, I have to say. So if it does turn hot next weekend, it will only be quite brief, I think. And then this low pressure will push eastwards and uh, spark off thunderstorms. GFS midnight run, again with that area of low pressure over the country on Wednesday, bringing showers and or longer spells of rain into the weekend. Again, the wind shifts round to the south, but less of a southerly influence with GFS midnight run compared to, like, the UK Met and ICOM. So, as early as, like, midnight on sat on Saturday to Sunday uh, next weekend, we bring this low in from off the Atlantic. Um, and any heat really has been kept away over on the continent there, to be honest. Looking uh, rather unsettled as we move up toward day 10. And a little bit on the cool side again as well. Winds back in from a northwesterly direction. And these rather cool and unsettled conditions continue right way up to the middle of the month. And beyond it with the GFS midnight run. Just a hint by the very end gets us to the 18th of July. But we started to ridge up some higher pressure from the southwest there. And the uh, GFS 6 set again with that area of low pressure in the North Atlantic and across the north and west of Europe on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Also looking quite unsettled too. Then into the weekend, there's those southerly winds. But you see, once again, a little bit more influence from this low pressure in the Atlantic as early as Saturday means that we probably flatten off that uh, ridge and bring this low in from the Atlantic with showers and or longer spells of rain. Heading up toward day 10, um, we keep it quite unsettled again with GFS 6Z. That's 12th of July, low pressure. It's just out to our west, bringing further showers if not longer spells of rain. However, we are very close to hot air over France and into the low country as well. Plus 20 Celsius iceberg, plus 15 Celsius iceberg. is flirting with the southeast corner. So it is quite warm and it won't take that much of an adjustment with either GFS midnight or 6Z runs to pull up some appreciable levels of heat by next weekend. So it is one to watch this, uh, I think. We may have a hot spell creeping up on us, but honestly, that low out west is a complicating factor. Beyond day 10 to the 13th of July, low pressure comes in off the Atlantic, bringing showers and or longer spells of rain. And we keep those showery conditions going all the way up to the 18th of July with low pressure over top of the country. So staying unsettled into the second half of the month there. GM, again, with low pressure to our north in the Atlantic, bringing those showery west to uh, northwest winds through the middle part of the week into the end of the week. Low pressures out west, high pressures to the east, winds coming up from a southern direction that starts to bring hotter air up from the south. Notice this low pressure does not come in as quickly with the GEM as the GFS is doing. So uh, the GEM is a hotter scenario for next weekend. Certainly very warm anyway. But low pressure never really comes in to be honest. We just keep this ridge sort of over the west of Europe. So from around Thursday, Friday onwards, the GM is turning mostly dry and very warm. And that lasts through the weekend and up to the middle of the following week. Again, this gets us to the 12th of uh, July there. And then the ECM at WF looks like that again. Low pressure to the north of Scotland. So looking rather showery and a little bit of a cool side through the middle part of the week. Uh, heading into the weekend again, the wind shifts round to the south. We've got high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west. We bring up those southerly winds. East is a little bit closer with that area of low pressure, though. But I think it does bring some quite hot air to us by next weekend. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures. And you see, got plus 15 Celsius ice, ice burn there just to our south and uh, east. So, you know, it's not as it's not as um, showery as like GFS, um, but it's not as hot as the UK Met. So it's somewhere in between, in between icons, somewhere in between, in between. Um, and then that low pressure sort of comes meandering in from off the Atlantic through the following week. And that does then uh, send the hot air away to our east as we go into that Atlantic flow. So this could be a near miss with, with the hot air at the weekend. 
uh, and into the early part of the following week. Or we could, you know, we could really pull up the heat. We don't have to wait and see a little bit longer. It will resolve itself within the next couple of days. Because we're only talking like a week away um, with this. The uh, precipitation forecast based on that East Chevron, which is show.com, shows plenty of showers and door long spells may come over the uh, next few days. Uh, heading into the uh, end of week, it turns drier. There's that low out west, so bringing heavy, fungy rain up the western side of the uh, country by the time we get to the end of week and into next weekend. Generally, those thundery uh, outbreaks of rain kept out west into the early part of the weekend. And then below pressure breaks through, sending those showers and possibly thunderstorms eastwards across the country by the second half of next weekend. Heading up toward day 10, uh, we look like that. So, I'm just slightly transient ridge then turning just that little bit drier. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensembles today for day 10. Gets to the 12th of July. 20 members of the ECM Ensembles have an area of low pressure over and to the east of the country with high pressure out in the Atlantic. That brings showers, long spells, rain, quite cool temperatures as well. 18 with an area of low pressure, tropic flow over top of the UK and Ida. Again, that brings showers and or long spells of rain. And 13 with low pressure just to our west. And uh, with that, we bring in the wind from more of a southwest direction. But they all look unsettled, actually, at uh, day 10. It's just the position of the uh, trough that's a little bit uncertain. That's a cooler scenario. Uh, that's quite a cool scenario as well. And this is a slightly warmer scenario. In two in time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 17th of July. 17 members of the ECM on Souls with low pressure to the north of Scotland, we bring in the wind from off the Atlantic, it's looking rather cool and showery that. Uh, another 17 with high pressure just out to our west, mainly dry and quite cool. Winds coming in from a northwesterly direction, nine with high pressure again, reaching from the Atlantic into western Europe, mostly dry, relatively warm, and uh, eight with low pressure to our south and east, high pressure out in the Atlantic. Winds coming in from more of a northeasterly direction. Um, so that's uh, rather, so these two here, rather cool scenarios. That also quite a coolish scenario. This is a warmer scenario. Obviously, they're differing as well between uh, high pressure and low pressure. So quite a bit of uncertainty at two weeks out. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height. And I'll break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from 2nd to the 8th of July. The coming week has low pressure over and to the east of the country. So looking rather cool and unsettled in the week ahead. Or certainly cool and showery anyway. Um, week 2 is going to be the 9th to the 15th of July. I changed the colour. So uh, in this week, we get high pressure to our south, across much of southern Europe. That will bring real heat, extreme heat, across many parts of southern Europe, into the Med and whatnot. And also, we've got high pressure up towards Greenland, in between probably still some sort of upper-level trough through this white area, I would have thought. Week 3 looks like that. It's going to be the 16th to 22nd of July, with high pressure over and to the west of the country. Should be turning a little bit drier, but will be a bit on the cool side with winds coming in from more of a northwesterly direction. And then uh, week four is going to be the 23rd to 29th of July. Again, high pressure somewhere towards Italy, low pressure in the North Atlantic and to west of the country. A little bit of a dip in the jet stream. Uh, doing something a little bit like that. So it's been inconclusive for the second half of July. It may settle down, but uh, we're struggling to find a definitive build of high pressure there through the uh, through through the second half of July. First half of July looking rather cool and showery, but I think. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Web. We thank you so much, everybody, um, for doing that. So, there we go. That's your turn 14 day. However, we are not done with the content today because we are going to be back uh, a little bit later on with our Sunday evening live streaming. Uh, we're back on a Sunday live streaming. That will be coming up from 6 p.m. So, I shall see you live then. Um, and just so I come in tomorrow, going to have the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. There'll be a 10 to 14 day as well. So, keep checking back to the channel for more. But uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.